for the split stance co contraction, slouch you're going to set up with all of your weight on the left leg. The rear leg is just a little kickstand, little to no weight going back there. Make sure that when you do set up, the shin's tipping forward and your pelvis is on top of your foot. Ribs stacking top of the pelvis, stacking top of the foot, nice one straight line. A lot of people initially set up like this, this movement. So uh, look yourself in, in a mirror or video yourself doing it. Make sure that your hips are through and your shin's tipping forwards and the foot spreads into the floor. From there, the key is to get the back to relax and do absolutely nothing. We want the lower limb to do everything here. So that starts with the head, chin to chest, hands are rich. And you notice how far I've already got here without even bend, bending into the hip just yet. So chin to chest and slouch, and then continue to stretch the hip and hamstring as you go to the floor. Notice that my hips stay very high and this shin still tipping forwards. I haven't gone back into this position here, like an RDL or a deadlift. I've still got the shin forwards, hips are still high. From there, squash through the middle of the foot to come back up again and restart the spine. So once more, chin to chest, reach, slouch, relax the back, a nice exhale as you go down. Keep the hips high, keep the shin tipping forwards, then inhale, squash the foot, knee stays forwards and the hip travels towards the knee to find that same alignment of foot, hip and ribcage. 